Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video has been highly, highly, highly requested for months. I don't know why I haven't got around to filming this sooner, but this is gonna be my best and worst luxury purchases. It was quite hard to narrow it down, honestly, and I think I have a couple more best than I have worst. So I'm gonna start everything off with the most cliche one just to get that out of the way. I actually chose this as my best luxury purchase. I think this is the only handbag in the best category I have. And even though I wanted to pick a different Chanel bag, this is a Chanel bag by the way, but I wanted to pick a different one, but I actually love this one the most just because it's so unique. It's not one of the classic ones. It's kind of like a different, it was like a limited edition summer one from this past year. And I love it so much. I love the clasp on it. I feel like it's a really, really unique clasp. And what I love most about it is it actually came with a wallet that I use every single day. It was like a little card holder and it has a slot inside the bag for that card holder. It still has the typical Chanel chain, except it has this on it, which the other ones don't, which I guess just makes it like sit on your shoulder a little bit better. And I love the color as well. I feel like the color is so unique. It's not like a color that I have a lot of things of in my closet, especially bags and I feel like it's a really good summer and winter color as well. Now moving on to bad, bad things. This is one of them and I'm thinking of selling this. By the way, I'll leave links below of where I sell stuff just in case you want to buy anything in this video. But I love this bag. It gets so, oh, I've got my hair attached to it. It gets so many compliments. It's the Perenza Schula PS1. It's one of their bigger sizes, but it's just such a freaking pain to open on the go. You basically have to like balance your knee on this side, open the clasp, open it like that and then hold this up as you're fishing around maybe it's just me and I'm just used to like getting things out really quickly and then also if you don't have enough in it it kind of hangs like that which is a bit of a funny shape I've seen so many fashion bloggers wear these types of bags and they make them look so gorgeous but every time I wear it I just end up getting so annoyed because stuff gets lost in the bottom and I have to like open it and fluster around and um, saying that it is a really gorgeous wearable color but I just don't get as much wear out of it as I would like because it's just such a pain to open. If all my heeled shoes disappeared and I was only allowed to buy one, these would be the ones that I would buy. They're the YSL Tribs. They're not the prettiest shoe that I own by any means, but they are the most comfortable. These are basically the shoe that I bought when I started go getting invited to a lot of weddings and I knew I needed to be in heels for like 12 hours or something and my mom honestly recommended these and she was like I can dance all night in these shoes they're so comfortable this is literally the only heel I can run in honestly every single time I go to a wedding or a long event where I'm standing up or dancing the whole time I've never taken these off like ever they're just so comfortable my foot feels really secure in them they're really gorgeous between my sister and I we share them we're the same size we have a pair in black a nude and then like this really nice autumnal purple they're honestly just just the best. Heels that I don't love so much are these. These are the Le Boutin Pigals. They're so gorgeous. They're like such a sexy shoe. Like, just look at them. Like, oh, they're just so sexy. And when I walk, I feel sexy. That means when I say when I walk, I mean I can only walk like three steps in these. So for those three steps that I managed to walk in these, I feel sexy. And then the rest of the time I'm like, sit me down right now. And even when I'm sitting down, they're still uncomfortable. These are literally death to feet. Like, I don't know how anybody wears them yet. I still wear them all the time and I have no intention of getting rid of them because I love them. But I have a really strong love-hate relationship with them because they're just so uncomfortable. But they look so good. You guys might have seen me wear them in fashion week. I'll post a picture of the outfit I wore with them now but they're so gorgeous but honestly I can only wear them if I know I'm doing like absolutely no or minimal walking and a lot of sitting down. One of the best luxury coats I own is this one from All Saints. It's just a biker jacket and it's just so wearable. It's not stiff or hard. It has a really nice flexible feel to it. It's so comfortable. It hasn't worn badly at all. I thought the color would wear really badly. I'm honestly so tempted to get a black one for winter. It has a really, really gorgeous hardware on it. I thought this belt would bug me as well, but the belt doesn't. It kind of stays in its place because it actually has loops that it goes through. It's honestly just like one of the best, 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 best jackets I've ever bought. I do have a Maz jacket to this really similar, but it's so stiff 
and hard that I feel like I can't if I'm driving it like annoys me because I'm moving my arms a lot or if I'm like walking somewhere I feel like just really stiff and contained whereas this is just such a nice soft 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 feel that it's really really easy and it's just such a pleasure to wear okay worst you guys might have seen these if you've been watching my channel for a long time. I've had them for just years and years and years. These are Balenciaga espadrilles. I love them. I really love them. They're lace up. They're a gorgeous color. They have a really nice heel. They're really comfortable. I just never ever wear them because honestly they are such a pain to take away with me. I feel like if you lived in a hot country or you go away a lot and you just want one staple shoe, these would be perfect. But when I pack, I pack like six pairs of shoes and then like my seventh one of these and then my suitcase is overweight. So I end up never bringing them. And I just end up never taking them away with me whenever I go away somewhere that I would wear espadrilles because they're just so heavy. They're not mega heavy, but compared to other shoes, they are quite heavy. So it's just quite a shame. So I kind of regret that purchase, even though I do really love them. Another pair of heels that I had, 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 had to mention are the Stuart Wiseman boots. These are the Highland boots. I've had these coming up, I think, to three winters now, or like two and a half years, basically. Oh, they're amazing. I've tried so many different pairs of over the knee boots on but these are hands down the most flattering I have a feeling over the knee boots can tend to look a bit like you know just not so classy basically but because of the heel on this it's quite chunky it's quite a thick heel kind of classes it up a bit it's a combination of like the thick heel and the round instead of a point which I also feel can like not cheapen things but it's just like the combination of everything and the round as well which I also prefer to a point um, just to make them a bit more daytime friendly. And I love the string at the back when you want to tie it and do a little, cute little bow. And they're just really leg flattering as well. And the suede has worn really, really well on these. I also have a pair uh, without the heel and they're like a khaki green color. I literally wear them all the time. I wear them every day. They're so, 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 so comfortable. They're so easy to wear. You can wear them with dresses, you can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with skirts, you can wear them day, you can wear them night. Like I just love them so much. This you guys might have seen in my designer handbag collection. Oh, it's such a gorgeous clutch. It's so unique. It's really a statement piece. You can fit absolutely sweet FA in here. Like I can't even I can't even put my phone in this clutch. Like that is like just what? What? I just I uh, I have no words. I have no words. Basically, I only end up wearing this if I'm going to an event and like I'm staying in the hotel and I'm going to an event in the hotel basically. So all I need is like my room key to get back upstairs. It ends up being like one of those bags or if I'm going out with my boyfriend and he can carry all my stuff but normally I'm the one carrying like keys and cards and stuff like that because I'm the one with the bag <laughs> or if I'm going out with Hannah my sister and she has a bag and I'll be like oh you can carry all my stuff and I'll take this so it's not the most practical of bags I do love it but I just don't think my wardrobe really needed this and this is kind of more like a brand than an actual piece but I just love love self-portrait dresses so much this is one i bought recently from louisa via roma they have the best selection of self-portrait oh my gosh look at this it's so beautiful it, they're so unique i think they're around 300 pounds a dress or they have jumpsuits and tops as well and they're just so unique and so 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 gorgeous i had to go to a religious ceremony and i bought one and it has short sleeves and it was long and puffy and beautiful they're just so unique and i literally feel like a fairy every time I wear them I literally get so many compliments every single time and people have no idea where it's from and the other thing I want to mention about this dress is it has pockets I love dresses with pockets so that was my best and worst luxury purchase this video I hope you guys have enjoyed this everything will be linked in the information box below don't forget to subscribe because I upload two new videos a week and I would love to see you back and I will see you guys next time I get to use my sleeves to say goodbye bye Ha <laughs> ha